The government's campaign against terrorist forces in Mindanao continues to make headway. The AFP report that much has been achieved in the campaign in the first 100 days of the Duterte administration. More of this report from Lala Babylonia. In line with President Rodrigo Duterte's goal to destroy terrorism practices in the country, the armed forces of the Philippines have been conducting back-to-back -back military operations against the Abu Sayyaf group and its other allies. In AFP's first 100 days under the Duterte administration, they have already conducted 579 massive focused military operations. 429 of these were meant to fight counterterrorism in the country. 54 military engagements paved way to the neutralization of 94 ASG bandits. 56 ASG members were killed, 21 surrendered, and 17 were captured. The AFP troops were able to kill key leaders of the ASG, namely Nelson and Brown Muktadil, and sub-leader Mohammad Said. One highlight of the progress of the fight against counterterrorism is the release of 14 Abu Sayyaf captives. This was made possible through cooperation of the Philippine National Police, government officials, and local residents. In a similar crackdown operation in central Mindanao, 44 combat operations were done against the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters and other foreign and local terrorists, particularly the Maute Group. To be recalled, three members of the Maute Group, namely TJ Makabalang, Wendel Factoran, and Busali Mustafa, were arrested due to their alleged involvement in the Davao City bombing last September. On the same day of their arrest, authorities have also captured Musali's father, Teng Mustafa. After President Duterte declared a nationwide state of lawless violence, the AFP deployed substantial numbers of soldiers, sailors, marines, and airmen to intensify checkpoint operations. Meanwhile, a tripartite agreement among Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines was signed to address maritime security concerns such as drug trafficking, human trafficking, kidnapping, and other transnational crimes in the southern Philippines. For PTV News, Lala Babylonia. Naging mainit po ang pagbilig sa hapon. Ukol po yan sa umano'y iligan na kalakala ng droga sa NBP. Kasama po natin ngayong umaga. Ang isa po sa napakahusay na nagtanong po kahapon, si Attorney Harry Roque, Kabayan Partilist Representative. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Harry. Good morning, Audrey. The government's campaign against terrorist forces in Mindanao continues to make headway. The AFP reports that much has been achieved in the campaign in the first 100 days of